The mainstream pickup truck market has proved a tough nut to crack for foreign automakers. Nissan and Toyota have done really well selling smaller trucks, but your bread and butter towers and haulers still typically hail from Detroit. Nissan thinks it has a unique proposition with its new Titan XD, however. Slotting between the half-ton and heavy-duty truck markets, the XD, here with a 5.6-liter V8 gas engine, seeks to find some white space in the huge American truck market. How does it look? The XT you see here is the Pro 4X trim, which means it looks like a giant off-roading machine. Huge knobby tires and an obviously high ride height give the truck serious attitude. And I'm a sucker for the dark finish alloy wheels and aggressive stance. This is a great looking truck. How's the storage? Now the Titan's in-bed storage containers offer what I think is a really good compromise. They're only about as wide as the wheel well, so they don't really negate overall bed width that much, and they obviously offer some lockable storage for the truck owner. I just wish they were a little bit easier to open from the outside of the truck. There's seemingly no end to the cubbies and stash spaces in this XD interior. The Titan continues the outgoing truck's tradition of having a center storage bin you can lose a small pet in. Seriously, this thing is huge. Keys, water bottles, gloves, laptop, you'll find a place for everything. Is it roomy? The XT's crew cab is really roomy, in both front chairs and the back. Clearly, this truck was made to haul stuff in the bed, but it's really well suited to hauling a foursome of six-footers, too. How does the interior feel? You know, a few years ago, I would have gotten into this cab and been surprised that I was in a truck at all. There's leather and soft surfaces and amenities, frankly, everywhere that I look. But these days, the truck game is really upped, and for the 50,000-ish that this costs, there are a lot of competitors on the market with similar or better interior treatments. Is it well equipped? This is near the top of the line for the Titan XD, and the equipment list shows it. Among the many features that make it very livable are heated and cooled seats, dual climate control, and a 12-speaker stereo. Out back, there are cameras that proved invaluable for maneuvering a trailer, not to mention just getting in and out of a parking spot. How's the infotainment system? The feature set of the infotainment system is fine, but the graphics and response feel a generation old. Any top-end truck from GM, Ford, or Ram has more whiz-bangery. Is it a good daily driver? Actually put quite a lot of highway miles on this Titan XD, so I got a great sense of what it would be like if it was a real commuting vehicle. And I have sort of a mixed feeling about it after I'm done. Um, to start, I guess if you're using the truck as kind of a car replacement, in other words, you don't actually have to have a truck most of the time, it doesn't feel like a great option. And some of that is because of the sheer size of it. It's really long, it's kind of tall. Getting into and out of it can be a, a pain and um, getting into and out of parking spots can be a pain too. But the other thing is that the programming on the seven speed transmission really isn't my favorite. Uh, when you're driving very slowly and cautiously, it does okay. But if I'm trying to do something like overtake on the highway, you know, ask for a little bit of speed, it hunts around a little bit more and it sounds pretty coarse when that happens. Now, on the truck end of things, if you really were using this as a pickup truck a lot of the time, I actually think it does quite well. Like I said, I, I did some towing with it. I actually picked up a car, so I had a, a car trailer and a car behind me for about 200 miles towing, maybe around 5,000 pounds, and the XD had zero problem with it whatsoever. There was enough uh, control over the trailer, and certainly enough power. It wasn't surging a lot. It really felt like I was in control of the vehicle. Um, generally speaking, from a guy who doesn't tow a whole lot, it felt pretty easy. Is it fun to drive? Whew. Not really. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I think that to be fair, the fun to drive factor in the Pro X version, especially of this uh, truck, really would happen if I was doing something that, like, you know, driving on a muddy road or going off road and really try to push the four wheel drive capabilities. Honestly, again, the, the issues that I have with the transmission don't get any better if you're driving aggressively. Uh, it, it really wants to be babied a little bit. And even though there is a fair amount of power from this 5.6 liter V8, 390 horsepower, you don't feel it all the time. There isn't an urgent acceleration, uh, whether you're starting from low speeds or from medium speeds. You guys probably can't hear it either, but there's something about the sound of this engine and exhaust that reminds me more of a Nissan V6 than it does of kind of a big meaty V8 engine. That's not really fair for the fun to drive factor, but it does come into play. It doesn't really get me excited when I'm driving it. How's the fuel economy? Of course, the EPA doesn't require fuel economy ratings for trucks, so I don't have a standard measurement to give you. Anecdotally, I can say that I saw about 14 miles per gallon on mostly highway driving with no load, and about 10 mpg when pulling a 5,000 plus pound trailer. Over short distances and far from scientific conditions, your results will most certainly vary. How much is it? The Pro 4X model with the gas V8 starts at $45,970. My truck had about 6,000 worth of options packages and netted out to about 53K when the destination and delivery fees are figured in. What are the negatives? I'm not 100% convinced that there's actually a market for this tweeter size big truck. Buyers in this space are very conservative after all, they don't always go for new things. Beyond that, I'm really not in love with the V8 engine, which feels and sounds rough a lot of the time, as does its transmission programming. If you can get beyond all that, I'd really recommend buying it with running boards, because even for somebody my size, getting in and out of this tall truck can be a leap. Who should buy it? If you're a big time truck user that needs a little bit more capability than is offered by your typical half ton, but doesn't quite want to commit to a heavy duty, then this could be your boy. The Titan XD was obviously made to compete in that space. The truck also looks really macho, and I think it's got what it takes visually to turn the heads of your old school truck buyer. Oh, hi there. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed our Y by video on the Nissan Titan XD. If you did, come back to this channel at nine o'clock ish uh, Eastern time every Thursday because we will have one for you. And you know what makes that easier too? You can subscribe to the channel. You can also find us on Facebook, on Twitter, and you can find us at motorone.com. And before you leave, don't forget to put a comment here in comments. Why not?